Welcome to our practical lecture. This time we are going to look at morphological identification of nematodes belonging to genus Radophilus by using a microscope. As usual, we shall start with a brief recap of the diagnostic features starting from the anterior to the posterior end. These features include the sexual dimorphism in the anterior part of the body. Under this, the female nematode serve a rip region which is low and slightly offset. They also have a robust and strong stylet that has round basal knobs. Females also have a distinct pharynx with a mastra median bulb. Whereas in males, the head is high, more offset, their stylet is reduced, and their pharyngeal region has no distinct median bulb. Away from the sexual dimorphism, these nematodes have a dorsal overlap of the pharyngeal glands with the intestines. Furthermore, females have a didalophically productive system with vulva located at 50 to 70 percent of the body. And lastly, their tail is bluntly pointed or hemispherical. For this practical exercise, we are going to use a female nematode. Let us start by putting the anterior end of our nematode in focus. And here we have the lip region of this nematode. As you can see, the lip region of this nematode is low and slightly offset. In the same field, we also have the stylet of this nematode, which is robust and has round basal knobs at its base. As we move towards the posterior side of this nematode, we can see part of the pharyngeal region in the focus. And this pharyngeal region has a muscular median bulb. Furthermore, when we move posteriorly towards the intestines, we clearly see that the pharyngeal glands overlap the intestines on the dorsal side of the nematode. As we continue moving posteriorly, we come across the anterior branch of the female reproductive system. This reproductive system is didalophic with two branches that stretch to both anterior and posterior side of the nematode respectively. Right now we are seeing the valve of this nematode and it is located to around 50 to 70 percent of the body. When we go posteriorly past the vulva, we are seeing the posterior branch of the reproductive system of this nematode. At last we have come to the posterior end of this nematode and here we are seeing the tail which is bluntly pointed and hemispheric in shape. During this microscopy exercise, we have seen some of the major features used in identification of nematodes belonging to genus Radophilus. Thank you for watching and remember to check our YouTube channel for more videos of other genera.